Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a Google Business website. So in this case, this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out this offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start or how do we create our business website for Google here? So in this case, if you're not aware yet, there is actually a way for you to add your business to Google Maps, which in this case makes you more visible to different people because we all know that Google Maps here or general Google, generally Google is a very essential app or platform that people use. Now, in this case, typically when you go to your business profile here, you have the option to manage now. So again, you should be able to see your business here and some business details and that includes adding a website. But how how do we add a free website here and how do we actually build our own website or free website? Well, it's actually very easy because they actually or Google actually has another platform that you could use to build your own website, which is going to be Google Sites or sites.google.com. Now, from their official platform here, they actually allow you to create your own website with uh, some uh, customizations that you could do here but again since this is just quite basic or the features that they offer because again this is free so you can basically create your own website and host it within google sites here but then again uh, the features itself and the capabilities are quite limited but in this case if you just want it free you could go and use it so in this case how do we start using it so there's two ways for you to create your website here. So you have the option to create a website from blank, or you could choose one of the templates that they currently have. Now, in this case, you, sh you, could sh you should be able to see different templates of readily available to us. We have family update, portfolio, event, help center, and even project here. So if you choose template gallery here, it's going to give you more templates that you could use. Like for example, we have team, we have holiday party, photo portfolio, restaurant, salon. So depending on what you need, you should be able to choose one of them here. But then again, if you want to create your own website, you go and click on the blank side here. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to click on blank side here and create my own website. Now, in this case, there's a few customizations that you could do here. So first is going to be our header. So the most famous type of uh, way of organizing or basically adding or customizing your website is, here is the landing page will have a header at the very top here, which in this case, you could basically change an image or upload an image if you want to. So you could go and click on select and select from the already existing uh, pictures on your gallery or in uh, Google images here. So for example, I'm going to use one of them here. So for example, I wanna use this one. Let's go ahead and click on insert to use it. And in this case, you have the option to reset, change the header type if you want to, make it a cover. So the whole page here would actually cover the whole uh, picture. We have the large, large banner here. We have banner, which what we had before, and we also have the title only if you want to. So just to give an example, I'm going to use large banner here and we want to start customizing the text. So for example, this is going to be my shop, but then again, you can go ahead and enter your own uh, business name in here. Now at the top left, you should be able to add your site name. So by the way, the site name here is going to be the name of the actual project for your Google site. So in this case, maybe I wanna say, this is going to be my uh, pro uh, website project. So in this case, let's go ahead and add this one. So in this case, once you've added it, you should be able to uh, basically do a few things here. So yeah. So in this case, how do we add different elements here? So at the right side, we have the capabilities of adding text, images, embedded codes, or even a drive link. Now you also have content blocks here, which allows you to rapidly enter or insert uh, different elements into your website. So for example, I want to use this one. Let's go ahead and drag it in this section here. And as you can see, we now have the image and text format here. So if you click on the plus button here, you have the option to upload images. So as an example, I'm going to upload one of the images I have right now. So maybe I want to use this one, click on open. And from here, you could go and add your text. So for example, this is a sample uh, tech uh, post. And from here, you could go ahead and add whatever text that you want to add. So for example, I'm going to add a lorem ipsum here as a uh, placeholder. 
Now, you can go ahead and fill out the other blocks here if you want to. Now, in this case, content blocks here, again, they allow you to rapidly create content into your website. But they also have our different uh, things that you could do here or add. Like, for example, a collapsible group, which in this case, it allows you to collapse or uh, minimize a certain section in your website, which in turn allows you to save space or if uh, a specific customer or a visitor here does not want to see a specific section, they should be able to close it. Now, you also have the option to add buttons if you want to. So, for example, I want to add a button here. So, for example, there's going to be a sample button. And from here, you could go ahead and add uh, your link. So, for example, I want to lead them to the following website here. Click on insert. Now, this will be inserted in here and you could reposition it in whatever way you want. So, as you can see, I give it even, I could even actually add it at the uh, bottom section of it. So, as you can see, I can move things around here if we want to. Now, if you want to undo what you did, you could just click on or uh, press on Control Z to reverse the changes that you did, as you can see right now. You also have the top right here, you have the undo and redo actions. Now, you could also preview your website in a uh, mobile if you want to. So, in this case, this is the uh, web or the uh, PC version. I could view it in my, for example, a tablet. We have a phone here. So, if you want to exit this, just click on exit preview. Now, again, like what I said, there are going to be a lot of elements that you could add or use in here, like social links if you want to add your different social links like X, Facebook, or even Instagram in your website. Now, in this case, uh, how do you add pages here? Because in this case, we want to add other pages. So let's go ahead and click on pages at the top right here. And at the very bottom, you have the plus button. So you could go ahead and over it, and you have the following option. You have the new menu section, full page embed new link or new page here so in this case if you want to add a new menu section you go and click on this one and add a new section now if you want to add a new page you could go ahead and click on the but plus button here immediately or just uh, basically click on it again so for example you could go and choose advanced here and you could even choose a custom pad if you want to so for example this is going to be a contact us page and in this case let's just add us here and just click on done in this case, whenever we go to home, this is what it's going to look like. But we click when we click on the contact us page, we now have the option to edit that specific page to our liking. Now also at the top right, you have your navigation. So we have home and contact us page. Now in this case, if you want to change a few things here, you could go and click on the gear icon at the left section of your header. And you have the option to change the navigation. So for example, you want to make this a side. As you can see, we now have a tree bar icon on it. And if you want to make it transparent or even block black so in this case uh, we're going to keep this as black and we want to keep this as top now you can also add your brand images like your logo and even your favicon gun if you want to change the icon in here you have the viewer tools here custom domains if you want to use a custom domain for your website you also have analytics and see google analytics regarding your website and announcement banner as well so just in case you want to announce something you can go add your message here your button label some links if you want to but in this case, once you're finished adding whatever you want here on your website, you can go ahead and start publishing it by clicking on the publish button at the top right here. And from here, you can add your web address. Uh, or if you want to connect a custom domain, you can go ahead and do that. And you can also manage the permissions and who can view your site here. So in this case, you can also basically uh, do the search settings here, which in this case, you can allow request public search engines to not display your site. But in this case, since we want to uh, uh, um, basically... Uh, show our website and a lot of people actually reach us to, uh, reach out to us you can go and click on publish it's going to publish that website and as you can see it is now published so you can go and click on the drop down icon here and from here you can even unpublish or even view the published site and from here you should be able to copy the actual name of your website here or the url and share this to your friends or in your social media but in this case uh you could go and add it in your business profile as well so if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.